Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. Thank you for coming. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. Glad to see you all one more time. Um, I just did two videos today. One was the Kayali um, Utopia Vanilla Cocoa. And uh, initially I was gonna do just the pineapple series fragrance, but uh, since the mailman or the delivery guy rang my doorbell and I had a package that I was so excited to open, I decided to continue to film this one and that one as well. Okay, so um, hence the same clothing. I, I know you guys probably really don't care because um, it really shouldn't matter. It's about the material that I'm bringing, right? Right. <laughs> So anyway, um, thank you all for coming. You know, please follow me on Instagram. I appreciate you all for being here. Today we're going to talk about pineapple fragrances. And these are like, I think I have either 10 or, um, or 11 pineapple fragrances that we're going to be discussing today. This was a requested video uh, by You Know Who You Are, Miss Thai. So, um, you know, I hope you can find something that you like. Uh, within this, I actually think you already ordered something that you like uh, within this collection that I have. And, you know, hopefully you all can find an amazing pineapple fragrance or a scent that you like or one that you have. If you have any recommendations also on amazing pineapple scents, you know, because we're all looking for the same thing sometimes. Leave that down in the comments, you know, so other people can see what other pineapple fragrances that you have that I don't have here today. Because I know there's more than this out there there. They're pretty hard to find. Um, these are pineapple fragrances with, or pine, yeah, pineapple fragrances with um, either top notes or middle notes of pineapple. Most of them, it's the top note. Um, so it's a pretty prominent scent in these fragrances. So if you are interested in what I'm going to be discussing today, please continue to watch, uh, like, comment, subscribe, excuse me, turn on those notification bells so that when I do upload a video, you can be the first one to give me your feedback, recommendation, or um, whatever it else, whatever it is that you want to talk about for that day. So without further ado, uh, we're going to get into these fragrances. So the very first one that I'm going to discuss is really not a fragrance. Well, I guess it is considered a fragrance, but it's a body spray. And um, I just had this on my haul. And this is a uh, Victoria's Secret Pink's Pineapple Slice. Yeah, this is a really good fragrance. It's very fresh. It's a realistic pineapple. Um, there's nothing synthetic about this fragrance, about this body spray. Yeah, it's a really sweet, juicy body spray. You can use this for layering. It smells like nothing else but straight pineapple. You can use this for layering. You can use this, you know, if you're having a pool day or, you know, a beach day or vacation. You know, you don't want to carry your heavy bottles because this is plastic um, and it's a pretty lightweight bottle. But yeah, definitely a very, very great smelling pineapple body spray. Super realistic, very juicy, sweet, um, like an overripened pineapple. Good stuff. It doesn't last long, maybe about an hour if you spray heavy if that okay so you have to carry this around or a decant so the next one we have I think that was only about like five or six dollars as well super cheap so the next one we have it actually surprised me and I put this in a haul as well um, and this is another pineapple fragrance uh, well they're all pineapple fragrances duh. Uh, <laughs> by um, Demeter and when I initially sprayed this when I um, did the haul video I didn't get a lot of pineapple or I wasn't able to uh, test it you know the longevity performance the sillage all of that but I was able to wear this for a day y'all and when I tell you that um, it's really good I was very surprised it lasted for about four hours until I actually you know washed it off um i think the heat my skin was helping it to project um it gave a really good pineapple scent not super sweet kind of like um a pineapple that's on its way to be ripened um not super sweet but a really good pineapple project projection and with great lasting power i was super surprised now in this on fragrantica it states nothing but pineapple um i completely get that you know and um it does have really good oil concentration oil sheen great atomizer you know but it definitely smells like straight pineapple but it holds longer than the victoria's secret fra fragrance um this retailed i think for about maybe twenty dollars 
and I sprayed too much. Anyway, this retailed for about twenty dollars, and um, <clears throat> and that is it. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't sit too, too close to the spray. <clears throat> it's very strong. I told you that demeanor. I thought it was gonna be more like a body spray, but it's an actual oil concentrated, you know, perfume. Look at that. It's super oily too, you know? So you can actually use this as a body oil or lotion and then put on a different fragrance for the day or layer these two together. These two together might be amazing, you know? It'll probably hold really, really well. Let me actually spray on this one on top of the Demeter and see what happens by the end of the, you know, the review. I love the note of pineapple. It's so fresh, crispy, watery, just juiciness, you know? Who doesn't wanna walk around smelling like juiciness and sweetness? I do. So next we have, um, and you all know this, Angel Eye Star, a really great pineapple fragrance. This is basically patchouli, praline, uh, pineapple, coconut, and vanilla. Really good stuff, you know? Go ahead and spray that. Definitely a great summer fragrance. You definitely get pineapple, coconut. You don't get that dirty patchouli note that people are worried or concerned about in this. Um, one of the um, subscribers down below on the review um, asked me in Angel Nova, do you get that um, dirty patchouli scent? And I was like, in the opening, you get a little bit of that patchouli, but it dries down really quickly because the... Um, the lychee and the um, the other notes in the fragrance, the rose, it actually overpowers the patchouli. Uh, but in the initial opening spray, you do get a little bit of a dirty patchouli. But in this one, I don't get that dirty patchouli note. You know, you get a slight patchouli scent, but you mainly get the pineapple and the coconut. Great fragrance. This is Angel Ice Star. Moogler's Angel Ice Star. So next we have another one that I absolutely love. Um, this is Ellie Saab, Girl of Now Shine. Um, this is definitely a very sweet, I wore this overnight. Whew, this is good. I love the original um, Ellie Saab, Girl of Now. Um, the shine is really good as well. Um, it gives you that pineapple note on top of the pistachio, orange blossom, mandarin orange. Um, what else is in here? Vanilla. Um, you know, pear, almond. So you get the pineapple on top of all of that. This is a good fragrance, y'all. A great buy. You know, um, definitely a great, I would wear this fragrance all year long. Definitely in the summer, spring, summer, but I would wear this in the winter as well. You know, on those, um, you know, warmer nights in the winter that are about 60 degrees. Um, well, for me, that 60 degrees is, um, uh, actually, 60, 70 degrees, I was going to say, is pretty warm um, in California. So I really love this. It retails for about $60. This is um, Ellie Saab, Girl of Now Shine. If you love Ellie Saab, then I'm pretty sure, and you like pineapple, you'll love this one as well. Get your nose on it. So next we have Coconut Nana's by the House of Rwanda. I've already told you all that this fragrance doesn't last very long. It lasts for about maybe three hours um, on the skin and then it starts to fade. This is a, but in the opening, it's amazing. You know, it's a really great coconut, pineapple. There's some saffron in here. There's some vanilla. I think there's some frangipani in here as well. Yeah, some frangipani peach and tiari flower. Really great fragrance in the opening, you know, but like I said, it doesn't last long. It does have a pretty good oil concentration as well, you know. Um, some of these you can really use as body sprays or body um, uh, oils or lotions or whatever. Really, really good scent, very airy, fresh, sparkling, fruity, not too sweet. You get more of the um, a fresh pineapple with a tiari flower and the frangipani, but really good and a little bit of coconut as well. But a really good fragrance, really, really good. So next, uh, we have one of my newbies, and this is um, 
C. Passiones, and this is by the House of Armani, Giorgio Armani, to be exact. Um, this is a really nice fragrance. Everybody loves this fragrance, apparently. Um, I'm, I got the original, uh, the C. Fiore, which I didn't like. I bought the 100 ml bottle, and I ended up giving that away. Uh, but then I kind of like craved that scent again because I was smelling that scent with other of my, with some other of my fragrances. So I wanted to smell it again, and then when I did. I kind of, I loved it, you know? I was like, you know what? Maybe it was the heat or something um, that kind of made me not like it when I initially smelled it. So, you know, but I love it now. Um, also loving this one as well. So in this, you know, it's really good. I'll go ahead and spray it. You get your uh, very fruity floral notes. You have your blackberry in here. You have some pear. Um, you have your pink pepper, black currant. Sorry, not blackberry. Black currant. Um, you have grapefruit, pineapple, rose, jasmine, and some other notes. Some vanilla, patchouli, uh, patchouli or sandalwood. One of those two. Um, that gives it a little bit of a, its creaminess. Really good fragrance. This actually almost gives me like a um, a pineapple. Uh, black currant soapy vibe. This dries down to a little bit of a, um, a soapy fragrance or a, a kind of a soapy scent. Really good though. Love this fragrance. Um, I once I every time I wear this, the couple times that I did wear it, my daughter was like, "Mom, did you just take take a shower?" And I was like, "Well, yeah, I take one every day, maybe a couple times a day, depending on if I had a workout or whatever I did." Uh, but each time I sprayed on C. So I'm like, you know what? C is really giving us or you that soapy type smell on top of the fruity florals as well. Great fragrance, y'all. You can purchase this at Macy's anywhere. Um, hopefully for no more than about, I would say 80 to $100. The next one we have is the all famous Lamar. I don't want to say infamous anymore because somebody in the comments was like, um, I think she was talking about, I said the infamous Demi Rawlings, but I didn't mean it in a bad way. And then she was like, do you think Emmy, Demi Rawlings uh, wants you calling her infamous? And you know, this is this, this, and that, and just gave me all the definitions. And I said, well, there's also another definition for infamous, but I'm not going to argue with nobody. I do not argue with nobody. Okay. That's a life rule for me. Um, you... Go on about your day. Have an amazing day. Um, you and your infamous and your thoughts of how infamous should be. And, you know, have a minute, have an amazing day, you know. And I'm sorry that you felt that way, but I actually love Demi Rawlings, you know. But I meant like, you know, the end all be all, you know, there was there's other definitions to the word and other meanings to the word infamous as well. But anyway, we're not going to talk about the, the lady that made the comment, you know, she probably unfollowed me, but that's OK, you know, because who is here will be here, right? Right, y'all. <laughs> so anyway, um, this is Lamar Kajal. Love Lamar. An amazing pineapple note. Some people say they get this little plasticky scent in there. I do get it a little bit, but it doesn't bother me. Um, I don't know what it is. That's maybe it's the coriander or something in here. But other than that, in this you have your pineapple, or maybe it's the mixture of the red berries. You have your pineapple, your red berries, your apple. You have a Bulgarian and Turkish rose. You have your musk. You have some oak moss. Um, this is a, and some cardamom. This is an amazing summer fragrance, y'all. Definitely unisex. Ooh, you get a really good, super fresh, super fresh pineapple, you know, on top of a, a really light rose, you know, absolutely love it. Love the bottle, all of that. And this is by Kajal. I love the fragrances that Kajal has put out. Love Dahab as well with the passion fruit. Delicious, y'all. Get your nose on Lamar. Um, next we have, well, let's go in order so I don't miss anything, right? Um, next we have Tamarindo. So Tamarindo is by the House of Mimo. Definitely a sophisticated, elegant pineapple fragrance that you want to wear when you get dressed up. In Tamarindo, it's considered like an ambery spicy. So in Tamarindo, you have your pineapple, you have jasmine, peach, uh, bergamot, you have some mandarin orange, two rose coconut, and some more notes. But those are the most prominent notes that are in Tamarindo. You know, a lot of people, um, a lot of people because of the patchouli inside um, states that this smells like Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. Um, 
very little. You know, this is his own fragrance. I get a little more fruity uh, fruitiness from this, Coco Chanel. You get a lot of the florals and a lot of the sweetness from the patchouli. But this is more of the peach, you know, the pineapple. You get some tuberose in here. This is more of a sophisticated scent, more of a complex scent than um, Coco Chanel, Mademoiselle. Um, get your nose on Tamarindo. Definitely an amazing fragrance. Absolutely love it. And this is by the House of Mimo. Yes, very smooth, but you definitely get that pineapple peach, tuberose, really good stuff, y'all. Um, so next we have Accento by the house of Zerjoff. You know, my favorite house of all times, Zerjoff. The packaging is stunning. The juice is stunning. The bottle, the bottles are stunning. Everything about it is stunning, y'all. So this is a really great take on a more of a, if you don't like sweet pineapples and you like a more of a fresh pineapple with a little bit of vetiver inside, um, not leaning masculine, but it's very unisex. Um, men, you can definitely wear this. This is Accento by the House of Zerjov. Beautiful bottle, purple for royalty, you know. All of that, y'all. So um, in Accento, you have your hyacinth. You have some iris. Not too um, powdery, though. So, men, you can wear this without all that lipsticky, makeup-y smell. So don't um, be afraid of that, okay? Um, hyacinth, pineapple, iris. You have some vetiver inside. Uh, you have your jasmine, pink pepper, and some amber. Really good fragrance, you know? Very fresh. Very, very extremely fresh in the opening, but you do get that vetiver and that pineapple, y'all, and the hyacinth. It's It makes it super fresh. So yeah, get your nose on this. And this is Accento by the House of Zerjoff. So next we have our little, um, you know, baby of the bunch. And this is uh, Escada Miami Blossom. Uh, this is a nice fragrance, you know, um, it's okay. You know, it's, I don't love it, you know, I like it. You know, it's nothing super special, but I thought the bottle was cute. Um, it is, um, uh, you do have some pineapples in here. This is an easy throw in your bag, go on vacation, you know, um, you know, just, Take it wherever you want want to when you're in that tropical environment and you know you want to spruce up every couple hours to smell some pineapple or a tropical scent. So in this you have your watermelon, you have your blueberries, orange, you have some sandalwood, you have pineapple tiari, you have tuberose, ambroxan, and jasmine. There's a lot of notes in here, y'all, but it doesn't smell like it. It it smells pretty basic. Um but you do like get some fruity florals, but it's nothing like, you know, complex. I'm going to go ahead and spray this. And this is Escada Miami Blossom. I think this retails for under $20. So, you know, in the opening, you do get $20, $30. So you do get that pineapple. You get some floral notes, the tuberose. I don't get any... Wait. I don't get any jasmine, but I do get uh, some white florals. You know, you get some berries, some orange. You know, I don't really get a strong watermelon note. I get more of the pineapple. But, you know, it's very watery, ozonic. This is fresh. This is, this is tropical. Um, a nice fragrance. You know, um, it doesn't last long. But like I said, carry it around. Spray it on every two hours if you want so you can walk around smelling like a tropical bomb, y'all. Delicious. Um, next one we have is Cruz del Sur 2, and this is also by the House of Zerjoff. This is a good fragrance. Initially, I did not like this fragrance because of the milky, dried, it smelled like a, um, a milky fruitcake to me, sort of, and I don't like fruitcake. Uh, but as I started to wear this more and more, um, it, I'm starting to get more of that mango, guava, pineapple. It's like a, a milkshake, a mango, guava, pineapple milkshake, you know? Um, I'm not going to spray this, you know, but you definitely get, it dries down to like a, you know, milkshakey white chocolate smell, you know, like white chocolate covered mangoes. Yes, there you go. White chocolate covered fruit. That's what it smells like. But really, really good. You know, I really, I'm not in love, but I definitely like this. So in here, you have your mango, guava, pineapple, apple blossom. You have milk, 
black currant, dried fruits, and it's some exotic florals. It doesn't list which ones, but you know, I, I like it. I like it a lot. I'm gonna spray it actually. Let's spray it here. But in the opening, you know, um, if you're not used to the combination of fruits and milk, and it will be pretty shocking. So, but you do definitely get those dried fruits, you know? No alcohol. Um, actually, a little bit. <laughs> but you get the guava and the mango, you know? And the opening, you get the dried, you get the creaminess, you know? And as this dries down, it dries down into a beautiful, like a, a white, like I said, white chocolate covered fruit or like a fruit milkshake, you know? Definitely unisex. Anybody can wear this, you know. It does. It may lean a little feminine because of the um, the pineapple, the guava, and the mango, you know. But overall, I I like this now, y'all. Okay, all right. This is Cruz del Sur too by the House of Zerjoff. Last but not least, we have um, an amazing fragrance, and this is Chanel Chance. Let me dust my bottle off. Um, and this you get, a, I'm not going to go into the notes because so, we got to hurry this up. Um, this is a really amazing fragrance. I do not like lots of Chanel fragrances. I'm not a Chanel girl because most of her fragrances are just florals. And I think Yummy 411, she talked about, um, Kia is her name. Um, uh, she talked about, you know, her having to ha have a tad bit of sweetness to her florals and i'm the same way i i really don't care too much for a um a strong white floral now i do love rouge malachite but even rouge malachite have is creamy it's a creamy tuberose and to me it has a little bit of a, a kind of like a sweetness that that the same sweetness that Alien has. Uh, but for overall, the crispy white florals, white flowers, you know, like Elizabeth Arden, I think she has white diamonds. Oh, no, uh, what is it? Um, J'adore, no. I cannot take any of those. You know, they're too striking and in your face. But this one, I do have Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. I've tried Gabrielle, Coco, um, Gabrielle Chanel. Don't like it. Um, it's not for me. Um, I've tried a couple other Chanel's, uh, Noir, all those, not for me, uh, because they don't, I don't know, I need more to my fragrance than just white florals, you know? Um, so anyway, this is Chanel Chance. This is a beautiful white floral fragrance with some fruity notes inside and mainly a pineapple note inside. Absolutely love this stuff. You know, I do over spray with this. I spray about 10 sprays, um, but overall, you know, it's a really great fragrance. You know, I love the bottle. I remember trying these over and over and over again, but I never tried the EDT and I didn't realize that the EDT has some fruity notes inside. So when I did um, go back and I was doing my research, I was like, you know what? I don't like the EDP. I don't like Eau Fresh, Eau Tundra, or whatever those other ones, the other O's are. Um, but then I went and I smelled this and I was like, you know what? This actually smells good. So I have another Chanel other than Coco Mademoiselle. But yeah, you definitely get a fresh, sparkling, um, fruity, you get fresh, sparkling, fruity florals in this fragrance. Very good for the spring, summer, definitely the summer. Sprayed this about 10 times on my clothes. I've worn it twice. Um, loved it. The performance was about maybe uh, four to six hours. Nothing spectacular, but it is a good fragrance. And it's super fresh for the summer, y'all. It smells like it has a little bit of frangipani in there also, um, but not quite sure. But I do smell um, lots of fruity, flor fruity florals, and I know that there's pineapple inside. Um, so get your nose on Chanel Chance. Great, fake, uh, great vacation fragrance as well. All right, so that is it. Um, I think I went through mainly my top 10 and I threw a couple of body sprays in there as well. Um, so I hope you find something that you like on this video or like I said, please down in the comments, let me know because I absolutely love the note of pineapple. Let me know um, or give me a recommendation on some other pineapple prominent note fragrances that you have um, that you can share with me and then everyone else down in the comments, y'all. All right, have an amazing day. Go out into the world, spread amazing sillage. 
do good, be it, be good. Not only spray on some pineapple, but eat some pineapple as well. Pineapple has amazing properties for the blood, for the bladder, for the skin, all of it, y'all. Get some. Bye-bye.